International shipping? Um, yeah, something we'll look at. So, because I know you guys out there are looking at these beers and this beer, and you're going to be wanting to get some. So, eventually, you will get your hands on it. Of course you will. Boom. And then uh, another one of my beers, just to chip in, so, <laughs> the IPA, which is a, another one we've got up here as well. <laughs> um, that one just won the Canberra Champion Bottle Beer of Scotland. So that one's going, so I'll be down at the uh, Great British Beer Festival in August with that one as well, yeah. so you can find me down there. Great British Beer Fest, go and see Bob, he's down there. With all I'll be on the uh, Real Ale in a Bottle store, I'll be there. Do you know what Bob is? He's a home brewer with ambition, an award winning home brewer with ambition. <laughs> You're the main man, Bob. Well, well thank you. Let's not fuck about it. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Right, Bob, let's talk dry hopping. Okay. We love to dry hop. I love to dry hop. More hops. Do you dry hop? Yeah, so the one you're drinking now, um, so I think all the IP 1, 2s and everything, they're all dry hop with different ones. And uh, it will have said on the pump clip what that is. And I don't actually know, I think it's, I think it's with Chinook, that one. I think it's dry hop with Chinook. I think I remember seeing on a bottle downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, well, no, that's the yeah, that was a single hot wheat bit, but I think that was just dry hot. Oh right, right, okay. Uh, but yeah, but basically, I use a lot of plain hops and, and dry hops in the cast. Um, yeah, I'm, like I say, I'm a bit of a hop head. I, I I worked with a load of really great American hops, and I've kind of I use a lot of American. Yeah, I use a lot of American hops yeah. as well. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I use British hops, like my 80 bob is all British hops, um, New Zealand, Australia and everywhere else, but, but yeah, I've got a little bit of a soft spot for a lot of American hops. So, why, why do you think it is that 
in the UK, we, we don't really go in for dry hopping and big style. I think we do now. I mean, it's kind of like anything with like the beer scene as it is at the moment. There's some, there's some breweries that will just do the same old. And there's some breweries, a lot of them we stock here in the pub, that are doing different things in every single one. So I mean, if you look at somebody like Colonel, just kind of mixing up every single time, never brewing the same beer ever. Yeah. I mean, that is just phenomenal. Somebody like Magic Rock is just playing around with hops in just brilliant ways. And wild beer, obviously, just kind of with their yeast and everything. Yeah. And just, yeah. So yeah, there are ones that are, are trying different things. and. That's it. Mr. Ken Duncan, the head brewer at the Inveralmond Brewery, believes that there is no such thing as bad beer. It's just some beer you like and some beer you don't like. Yeah, I got along with that. Budweiser, Ken. Budweiser. <laughs> Bob, craft beer, real ale. Uh -huh. Is there a difference? God, I thought you might ask me this. I, in the last couple of weeks, I've, uh, I've been asked the craft question quite a lot, and uh, some of my answers have gone on for a good half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, not, it's not something I really go in for, to be honest. I mean, so what I said to a, a girl who was doing this magazine article thing the other week was, so it is a craft to make beer. It is a skill, sure. but it is also, it's a skill to be a plumber, a painter. You do not call them craft painters, craft lefties. True. It is the craft. Craft, artisan, whatever. For me, it's just trying a little bit too hard. There's good beer, yeah. and there's, there's, well, there's not that beer, as we discussed. <laughs> but I, just because a guy makes it on his own, in a tiny shed, calls it craft, that does not mean it's good beer. That's it's true. got to be good in the box. Yeah, definitely. And so, tenants could produce a beer that is really good. Yeah. Is that a craft beer? It's just a, it's just a marketing. Yeah, no, I, I, so, yeah, so it's not, so yeah, so, even, it's, even in the last couple of months, it's just kind of done. Everybody wants to know about craft, and craft, craft, craft. I suppose, I suppose it is a real ale. I mean, you know, that's the technical term of it, if it's bottle condition. It is a real ale in a bottle, so, so I might accept that one. But craft is always a bit kind of, well, it's a bit, it's a bit, a bit, a little bit tossy. <laughs> it's a bit wanky. <laughs> craft, craft beer, yeah. But, but craft, but yeah, but like, for the craft, the things that they're calling craft beer, yeah. is the ones that you want to try. So, but, it, but it doesn't necessarily make it the best beer you're ever going to have. Yeah. So leading on from that question, mm -hmm. and your superlative answer, are you a member of Camera? I used to be. As, as the I used to be! So did I, brother! So did I! Um, and yes, I say I am, because I went to the meeting the other week and they surrounded me and told me that they hadn't got my juice from this year. And I was like, oh shit, you haven't, have you? So yes. Yeah. But yeah, no, no, I, uh, yeah, I work closely with the, the, the five camera guys um, out with the beer festival and like, yeah, the loads of stuff they do. Yeah, I mean, cameras, I mean, yeah, I mean, cameras in this kind of strange position at the moment where their job is somewhat done, they've done really well. They've become what they set out to stop. Yeah, yeah so no, they, but they just need to, do, <laughs> they just need to develop a little bit more. But the guys that I know with cameras, they know that. They, yeah. they know, they. Yeah, whether they want to talk about casks and kegs or whatever, when you get them in private, they're just it's like, yeah, good shit. Secretly, secret ca camera meeting, secretly, uh, casks, kegs, it oh, doesn't really matter, does it? Camera are good guys. <laughs> they're good guys. I don't mean to bash camera. <laughs> yeah, you are good guys. Generally, camera does, a, I think, a great job making sure that people can drink stuff like this. I think some of the rules, perhaps, could be massage slightly. Yeah, but like I say, they, they know that yeah. and they're in a bit of a transition. Can we maybe have a look at the, the cask area where you yeah, yeah. spend some? Walk this way. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Right then, we're still here at the St Andrews Brewing Company in St Andrews, Scotland, and Mr Bob Faff is now going to just talk us through his setup for the brew pop. This is where all the magic happens. It's behind the scenes, and it's also where you can hear me better because there's less noise. There's no people in here drinking and having a good time. Well, I'm having quite a good time. <laughs> anyway. So we've got a lot of cakes, so also we've got cakes. Cool. So yeah, so, so basically this, this place used to be an Indian restaurant, so we converted it and opened up in November time, but there wasn't a cellar as such. So this used to be the kitchen, um, and the glass wash area used to be part of the kitchen as well. So there was, there was a tandoori oven about here-ish and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so yes, yeah, so we, so we turned this into the, the cellar. So basically the bar is just behind us. That way, uh, we have eight keg, uh, sorry, eight keg lines and eight cask lines uh, on here, uh, and then all the all the beer ready to go on is just on the other side of this door here. Um, but yeah, so we try to usually have between four, six of my beers on on cask at any one point, um, and then uh, other bits and pieces. So we got today, we've got Pilot, uh, Dark Star, Roosters. Wild, I think, over there. So these, uh, is this essentially just a, a big ass siphon? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, if you if you want to go through technical cellar management, well, like dominant down, I am mean, really, so really not your guy. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, some of the guys from the pub um, have this whole system sorted out, um, and that they own this room. Now, all breweries and related places and pubs and things like that need rules. Here are the rules. Now we're not going to read all of them, but it's basically if it's moppy, sorry, <laughs> if it's sticky, mop it. That's very important. Sanitation. Take any empty cask kegs away as soon as possible. And Bob's starting to pan himself because you can see number nine at the bottom there. Alright. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I make, make sure there's enough beer for the next night. Okay? Um, keep things cleanish. I think you need to scribble out the ish bit on that. Yeah, I... Yeah. Come on, guys. God damn it, Bob. <laughs> you need to have an iron rod with these people. Number nine, don't fuck up! <laughs> that is the best rule! The best rule! Employees found covering the cellar in hops will be mocked via additions to the rules. That's... that's my... That's well, I was going to say you've got proof of dry hopping. Yes, I was... Couple have gone kapow. There is... See, we've got hops on the ceiling. So when the guys are knocking the spears in, I presume Boom. one of them one of, uh, has put some hops on the ceiling. And I think that we've got some hops covering this cask down here at the bottom as well. So that's a pilot. So that's the, the new stout, the new milk, uh, the new milk stout, milk and coffee stout. Mochiano. Mm. It's a mochiano. So here we got, we got, I think we got two uh, pilots on at the moment. So yeah, yeah. Uh, iced tea ones were really good. We noticed that on the bar when we came in actually, yeah. yeah. So, do you know much about that? No, no, <laughs> to be honest I don't. <laughs> I've not met the guys yet. <laughs> you know what it tastes good though? It tastes good. What is technically your, your, uh, your job title here then, Simon? I'm the Cellamester. I don't even think it's title right. Um, I'm responsible for making sure that we have beer and that it's ready to pour, um, and that when it does pour, it comes out as it should do. Good. Nice. Excellent. So the reason that I've collared Simon here is because I want to know about this. Because it looks like a big-ass siphon to me. Is that a big-ass uh, siphon? I guess we're not technically siphoning it out, so it's not a siphon, mm. but it is essentially, it's a tube that goes in there, it's got an adjustable height so that you can uh, make sure that you don't have it in a cloudy layer of beer. <coughs> So if you get a cloudy patch, you can adjust it up and down, um, and, is and it, it's an alternative to a gantry. And is it done by suction from the Yeah, the it's pump just thing? a suction, so it's just done through a proper pump. There's no CO2 being pumped into the cask or anything like that, so right. it's all a proper camera approved system. To do Did you hear the disgust in his voice when he said that? <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Um. But it's just so when you've got less space, obviously it's not the biggest cellar in the world. We don't have room for lots of tilting gantries yeah. and laying all our casks down. So this way we can still vent them, we can still do everything properly and let it all settle, but with them all just standing on them. Cool. So what are these units on the wall here that the tubes are connected to? Uh, they're 
this is where the CO2 is involved, but it's just an assisted pump. So the CO2 never touches the beer. Right. But this is a little pump that allows the CO2 to uh, just help it pump through. Cool. So it all gets pulled through on the hand pumps properly, uh, but just with a little bit of help. Excellent. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. Simon, cellar master and rule master as well. Don't fuck up, Simon. <laughs>